Ooh. Hot sauce is kind of good. Why are you touching everything? What? You touching every little chip? Ugh. Mm, ugh. That's Tasha. That's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, drink a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, this ain't no click. What's up, y'all? Hey, guys, it's Steph. And Tasha, we are back with another mukbang. If you're new here, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the family. If you've been here before, welcome back. I just spit over all of the food. Good thing that's your stuff. So yeah, I don't, I don't think it made it up here. It so just went right here. Okay. All right, y'all. So, uh, baby, tell them what we're doing today. Today, you guys, we are doing a Chipotle mukbang. And we got a viewer topic. I'm okay. keeping it simple today. Yeah. I'm on my way to the dentist. Well, I'm not on my way. Because I'm still here. Let's get into the video. She done started eating, talking. We fake back, y'all. What's up? <laughs> How y'all doing today? So we got Chipotle here. I'll tell y'all what we got. Okay, good. Go I got a chicken bowl, you guys. They were rushing us to Chipotle, y'all. I felt yeah. so much anxiety when I was trying it, to order. It was. <laughs> it was a mess. They. This is a, a barbacoa quesadilla, which is delicious with beans, rice, and onions. I got some chips and cheese. Stephanie, I don't know exactly chicken what Chicken burrito. Has. Nothing special, y'all. Nothing special. Chicken burrito and some chips, y'all. I wanted some brisket. They didn't oh, have it. Oh, they wrong for that. They didn't have it, yeah. They were wrong. They tried to get some cold good. cheese, too, y'all. I said, I don't want that cold ass cheese, sir. <laughs> I didn't say ass, but I said, I don't want that cold cheese. Why they get rid of the brisket, y'all? Mm -hmm. I hate when people mm. places make new things that are good and then stop making it. Mm. This is my favorite thing about Chipotle, y'all, the chips and cheese. cheese didn't they have good. different cheese before? Yeah, and it was I didn't bad. like it. So now, I, when I tried it again, I was like, oh, yeah, this is good. They did a good job changing it. I bet you a lot of people complain and they paid attention. Mm -hmm. Businesses, that's what you need to do. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to your customers. Yeah, for sure. Um, mm. I haven't had Cordoba, but I see people comparing the two and I really want to try it. I feel like I'm going to like Cordoba more. Mm. I don't know why. I think I've had it one or two times. Probably for a lot. I don't remember ever thinking like, well, it's better. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Um, so and also it wasn't memorable. Oh yeah, I don't re remember it like that. Mmm. Mmm. Shit. Yeah. It was like, um. Yeah. I'm hungry. I wasn't hungry until five minutes ago, but. I'm glad you're hungry now. <clears throat> All I want is a chip, so I ain't gonna lie, y'all. <laughs> well, look, I want some of that case deal. Wait, let me get it in the water. I use my own cheese, you guys, because I forgot to ask them for cheese. I mean, I don't really like fast food chicken that much, and theirs is good. I mean, that's is hot and cheesy, yo. Sorry, but what's he talking about? Oh, okay. What are you talking? So, I got a viewer topic. Y'all want to send us one? Step and Tasha on Instagram. Yeah, Step and Tasha on Instagram, y'all. Send us some topics, you guys. I want to start doing more topics because it's easier to do than other stuff. And we got tax season right now, y'all. So, y'all know how that goes. Yeah. We have tax season and also we also have other things that we're trying to do. Mm-hmm. Getting That's going to require us to do a lot of work. A lot of research, a lot of work. Not involving YouTube, y'all, but just our lives. So, if we need... Well, on one of the things I want to try to do a series on it. On one of what things? Our, our process. The things that we're doing. Oh, okay. So, might involve YouTube in that respect. Okay. Mm. I'll definitely involve you two too. Later. If I learn how to do this thing and I'll start making money, I'm gonna teach y'all how to do it too. Well, okay. I gotta see if I can make money first. Yeah. Let us master it first. Yeah. Which we will watch. God willing. I'm guaranteed. Really, if you if you wanna do something, y'all. Put all your effort into it. I think most of the time you'll be able to do things you want to do. I agree. 
Well, what hold us back holds us back most I think is like fear of failure or even if you feel a little lazy and not want to do, you know, what you need to do. Can you give me some chips? Mm -hmm. I like that better. I like that. Yeah. I agree. I think even with something that, you know, you'll you'll rarely um, find people very rarely find success in. I honestly believe if you if you believe that you can do something and you do you take all the steps. A lot of times I feel like, this is just my opinion. A lot of times when people don't succeed, it's because something is lacking. Now I don't know what it is. Sometimes you just can't do it. Sometimes mm -hmm. some things are just unattainable for you know everybody or for certain people. But sometimes you you're not putting all of your effort into whatever it is. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Ooh. Hot sauce is kind of good. Why are you touching everything? What? You touching every little chip? Can I get a I chip? I touched two chips. Okay. I mean, but you like you kind of going all over the place. You like grabbing this and moving around. You didn't see? No, I wasn't. Okay. All right, babe. Okay. Yeah, normally I do that, but I'm I'm sorry I was doing that right there. You were, but it's not, it don't matter. I'm sorry. It's okay. So anyway. What ketchup? Yes. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna catch up. What's happening? Then, huh? Good. Mm -hmm. Ugh. I don't know. I you mean, know, it was kind of gross. The way you ate it, yeah, it was kind of gross. Mm -hmm. This burrito, I told her to make it um, with less stuff. Mm -hmm. Now it's just a lot of bread. Mm -mm. Right. Oh, Maybe they put too so much bread on it. I mean, this is what it is. It's a burrito. It's in water. You know what you're like, huh? Mm mm. I was like, if I could make my own. Why do you eat the burrito like that? What are you talking about? Mm, look at that. I don't know. Ugh, look at you. What are you talking about? Look at me, what? I'm not supposed to spit things out at the dinner table. This ain't no damn dinner table, baby. <laughs> this mm. is good. What's wrong with you? Me? Yeah. Nothing's wrong with me. Okay. You talking about ugh. How am I supposed to eat it? Like good? No, nah, but you just kind of rough with your food. You kind of. I'm know. rough. The way I mean, much shit you be smashing into your mouth every day. What are you talking about? Anyway. Mm. Mm. That guy's good. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I'm worried. No, I'm wondering. My hands are shaking. You make me feel like I can't eat. In peace. I ain't trying to say that, babe. I don't know why you suck that whole. I'm gonna try some of these um peppers in my casa. My casa. And then you got your. Mm mm. You need to eat a little bit more laid like for these. How videos, am I not though. eating laid like? A little more laid like for the videos. A little more laid like for the video. How am I supposed to grab that lady like and put it in there? Put I mean, your me. elbow is all in my. What the fuck you want me? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I have an elbow. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Okay. Dude, let me show you. Just yes. This <laughs> me. Yes. Yeah. Your face like don't have to look like that. What? <laughs> okay. Your face didn't need to look like that, babe. I can do this. Look. There. Really? Now your big ass head is over here in my way. <laughs> my head is not big, man. Can you, can you pick, keep your head over there while you do it? Yeah. Damn. You see my elbow in your face? No. And look how you bite the damn quesadilla with cheese on the side of your mouth, babe. Wow. This is a this is a channel for ladies. You're supposed to be setting an example for the young ladies on here watching us eat. What? While you over here talking about, mm. Why do I need to set an example for somebody to eat? They can eat how they want to eat. No. I don't need to set examples. These young for people are watching us. You set an example for these young ladies. Well, I don't think anybody is coming over here looking, trying to learn how to eat. They might be somebody's baby. They be over here sending us little emails of their babies. Okay. Never mind. So you think a baby is supposed to be eating at their little high chair? Yes. Like a lady? Yeah. Okay. It's supposed to. That's how. That's what you. I don't want you teaching our granddaughter something weird. 
What am I doing this weird? I ain't saying it's weird. Nothing, babe. Forget it. Move on. Just move on. Stop talking about it. Anyway, let's get to our topic. Let's get to our topic. All right. Oh, that was salty. Oh. Yeah. oh, good. I'm glad your ass got a salty one. Mm -mm. Hold on. <laughs> That's what she get. Talking shit. Ugh. What happened? Was that, that salty? The chef was salty as hell. Like all the salt congregated <laughs> on one chip. See, that God don't like ugly. That's what you get. You want some chips? Some salt? Damn, you ate all your cheese? God. <laughs> well, I wasn't neglecting this and getting the large for no reason. Like you. I'm, I'm eating it. Okay. So she says, This is gross. Here's my dilemma. My wife and I have been together for seven years, married going on five. We have three kids together. Okay. You have a problem reading? You want me to I'm trying to understand. If you can y'all put punctuation in the thing? Okay. Normally people can read we, punctuation or not, babe. We have three kids Do you need kids me to read together. It? 29. Do you need me to read it? And 19. Do you need me to read it? No. Okay. We have three kids together, 29 and 19 and 17 years old from her previous marriage. Right. We Is are, it a man or a woman? She ain't said yet. Listen. You said she. Listen. I mean, it's hard to understand Listen. you when you can't read right. My wife and I have been having a rough spot in our marriage. The 19 year old thinks it's okay to whine and act like she's two years old. So her mother will let her sleep with us. What? What? <laughs> I mean, I was all butt ball ass naked the other night that I said, but I'm naked. And my wife said, it's okay. I'll be in the middle. I'm like, what the? I'm not doing that crap. So I got up and got dressed and got slept on the sofa that night. I'm tired of this crap. My wife seems to think it's okay for a damn 19 year old to sleep with us because she's stressed about college courses or because she's up all night watching videos and throws her sleep patterns off. And she has breakdowns. I thought over time my life, will, my wife will respect our bedtime as ours, but I see that is not the case. It's like the 19 year old is trying to come between us. She has stated in the past that she used to do that and did apologize for it, but the behavior still continued. And they've been together for what's it say? seven years. So this is the 19 year old as so, well. Right. So 19 year old was 12. I'm assuming she been sleeping with her for this or them this whole time. Damn, I wonder what 17 year old is. What's she be doing? She, she's just fine. It's okay. Yeah, she cool. Okay. Who? Can I have some more chips, please? Or maybe the 17 year old is the boy playing the Xbox. He ain't worried about that. Um. Ooh, this is a joke. <laughs> so a whole joke. nother grown lady. And then how you gonna, I'm in here naked. Yeah, come on in. Well, I don't think nothing is wrong with it. I, That's what? her child. <laughs> okay. That's her kid. Okay. I mean, if she wants to damn. sleep in a room with her mom. Y'all need to get a third room and let them sleep in their own room. Or won't the mom go in her the daughter's room? She has a right to go in her I mom's room. I think she should do that. If she wants to. She can go in there, but that's still the other person's bed. You can't just oh, welcome well, anybody into the bed. She needs to go sleep on the couch like she said. You, you can't welcome anybody into a bed just because... Stephanie ain't f***ing me, y'all. Never mind. I was just playing. Oh. I'm like, no. That's crazy. I don't think... Um... <laughs> mm -mm. No. I was, mm -mm. I was about to say, what? <laughs> no, you ain't fucking with me, so I'm gonna go ahead and tell the truth. <laughs> I thought you were serious. No. Um, that's a little... That's a, It's a bit much. But this is the thing. Sound like they've been doing that because she said I thought after time she was gonna respect yeah. our bedroom. Mm -hmm. no, so they've been doing. It. You kind of should have. I mean, she, did she even say she even mentioned anything about it? She ain't mentioned that she mentioned anything to her wife about the issue. <laughs> she did. Or about it being mm -hmm. an issue. She did. No, she knows. They ain't talked to the Is girl. Is it normal for this to be happening? Let me see. They ain't talked to the girl before because the girl was like, "Oh yeah, admitted what she used to do and said, and she expected to change and didn't." Everybody girl. knows what's going on. Uh. The mom is just one of those moms. I mean, I have a couple of friends that are really close to their kids. 
And I feel like they would let them sleep in the bed. Now, would they do it if they had a partner? I doubt it. So basically, they're having a rough spot because of her having to share a bed with her wife and her daughter, her stepdaughter. That would have to stop. Immediately. Mm -mm. She can go, go get in her bed, ma'am. Yeah. Because if we've been together for seven years, I'm not going to be mad if you want to go sleep in your daughter's bed right. here and there. Now, if it's every night, mm, I don't know about that, but whenever she having a little issue, go sleep in her damn bed. She don't need to be up in here. I don't yeah. want to sleep with three people. Um, no. I wouldn't allow it. Because, um, first of all, I don't want to sleep in a bed with a child. <laughs> right. Um, now, uh, let me, let me, let me take that back. When Elijah, if Elijah has some issue, mm -hmm. he was going through something, would I go sleep in here there with him? Absolutely. Could he come lay in the bed with us? If we're not laying down, going to bed? Yes, we watching the movie or whatever. Or if he's having a bad night, if just something and he wants to be with us both, yes, he can come lay in the bed with us. Mm -hmm. Male or female, it doesn't matter. That's your child. So, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. But, at some point, I would be like, okay, he, I see he's trying to, he, he doing this a lot. Let me go in his room and, and figure out whatever his issues are, mm -hmm. where he needs to be up under me all night long. Let me go in his room because I don't want to invade her space. You know, this is our room and your bedroom is kind of sacred. Even his room for him, I feel like it's right. a sacred place. Up and just your bedroom is sacred, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know? So, not sacred like that. It ain't that serious, but that's your place where you chill and you right. relax, you know? Exactly. Where your, you know, bodily things are on your bed and all that. Exactly. You feel me? Yeah. So, um... Mm -hmm. I definitely don't, don't, um, I don't know. And now when the kid is little, like I remember Elijah being small, I would go sleep in his room a lot. You know, not a whole lot, but I would sleep in his room here and there because that's my baby and he wanted me to be in there. Do you think it has anything to do with the fact that that's not her birth child? That is an issue or no? I mean, she didn't say that. I don't know, but if it was me, I would have an issue even if it was my birth child at 19. Mm -hmm, me too. You know? Me too. With, with my partner. You a whole, now, you know different I mean? if the child was small, like a, a little person. Mm -hmm. You ain't taking up that much room, you little. Okay, you can sleep in here. I don't know. That was. She need to learn how to deal. I mean, you getting older, so you need to learn how to deal with whatever these emotions are anyway, independently, because eventually. Hopefully you won't be out on your own doing things. So I don't know about that. She's sleeping in the bed. Right. At she ain't never she ain't ever leave. <laughs> she, I don't want to go. But I'm just saying you will want to get your child ready to be independent, honey. Okay. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I definitely wouldn't leave that my wife for that reason. But if you had a child that was always trying to sleep in the bed with us or whatever, I would be like, I mean, even my own. It are. I mean, we share Elijah. So mm -hmm. if it doesn't matter if Elijah was yours or not, but what I'm trying to say, if it don't matter if it was her birth child or my birth child. I ain't really trying to sleep in the bed with an adult human that I'm not, not all the time. Right. right. It's not, but the only difference is when it's your child, you can feel more comfortable saying, Hey, don't, but when it's somebody else's child, you don't want to, you don't want to stop whatever they bond was going to be. Yeah, go so, sleep in her room. So it's like, you have to leave if yeah. the mom is saying it's okay. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be like, y'all need to stop. I would I'd probably ask you, can you just go sleep in her bed? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, or something, but, and I would hope that the other person, the other person should respect you just like you should respect whatever they want to do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the thing is, I think that she, if, if she, I mean, no, she said, you said that she said something to, about it before. I don't know. You thought it would stop, but it's not stopping. So now you got to say something because if you don't say something, it's just going to, I don't know how long it's going to continue until she moves out, if she does move out. But you don't want to sit up there and have, she be in the bed with a 25 year old in my bed and your wife. every night. Mm -mm. Because, no. no, just not going to happen. It's not even a, a uh, I don't even think it should be something that your wife should get upset about. No. And that's it. If she does, then she needs to kind of reevaluate. Because if Elijah was in the bed with us and Stephanie was like, you know what? I don't really want him in the bed with us. I would be like, yeah, it makes sense. Right. You know, that makes <laughs> sense. I can't be mad about it. You can't, I can't feel like she got some kind of You need weird to put your feelings. foot down and be like, no. I mean, at this point, yeah. If she ain't, if she's not stopping it, be like, But uh, then what if she does tell her wife, what, but what if she does tell her that and her wife is always in the room with the daughter now? Okay, then you have to deal with that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You have to decide whether you want to deal with it or not. Marriage is... You can't um, change what somebody's going to do with their personal life. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That's what she wants to do. Now you have to react accordingly based on what you want. Yeah. You know? So, y'all should talk to the daughter. You guys talk to each other and then together you guys come to some kind of agreement and then talk to the daughter and let her know, you know, you're 19 years old. You kind of don't need to be sleeping in the bed with your, it's fun for a night to do a, right. a slumber party or whatever. But if you're needing that from your, I don't know y'all. I can't say, I don't know what the hell's wrong <laughs> with the little girl. I ain't gonna say, cause I don't know what's wrong with her. 
Maybe I know, there's something wrong with me doing that. Oh, they already do it, but they're gonna keep doing it until they get 19. Sleeping yeah. in the bed with their mom? Yeah. Who? I know somebody. Oh, she sleeps in right now. She sleep in the bed with her? Yes. They sleep in the same bed. Yeah. Look, if you got some issues with your wife and her child that she gave birth to, um, oof, that's rough. I'll say that. It's rough to have a blended family sometimes. Yeah. Depending on even even if everything is good, it's still rough. Me and Stephanie have had yeah. our patches and, and we get along. We all three get along great. Right. But a mother is always gonna be different. It's always gonna be differences because people raise children differently. Exactly. Everybody raises children everybody even has if their it's own. Your biological, you gonna have yes. Some yes. I think we would have more issues if he was my biological. I do too. Because Because I feel like Stephanie would I be stand more. down a lot. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. I stand it on down. Yeah. I give my opinion and see what happens. Let's just go forth from this point. And I'ma tell you and I give in sometimes. Yeah. So if I didn't give in, it would just be a, I don't know what it would be. You'd be standing down more and it would just be a whole yeah, mess. Yeah, I'm not going to push it. Yeah, but you know, I give in because Stephanie be right about some stuff. All right, y'all, we had a great video. Hope you did too. <laughs> we had a great video. <laughs> All right, y'all, if y'all like the video, give a thumbs up. Let us know what you guys think. Put some comments down below. Let her know what she needs to be doing with her 19 year old uh, bed mate. <laughs> uh, um, until right. next time, only your eyes. Peace. Shit, only but if you get nervous, it's gonna be somebody getting worked. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing.